Hello and welcome to Lord Fate Gaming Plays Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm your host Lord Fate and today's The Lost Tale of Greece. We are doing one really, really bad day. This is a trophy slash achievement guide. Also it gets you through the entire uh, quest chain. Now my choices might be different than yours. Now in order to start it, I would do is uh, if you do not see it on the map somewhere which is a light blue uh, diamond with a exclamation point enter the game and exit the game obviously then come back into the game you'll get it so we're gonna go to this location right here it should be somewhere on the map yeah it should be uh it's not here it's not in Arcadia nope it's in uh Botia yep it's right there it's this location where you wanna go there's a I think a fortress that's the closest dock to it I'll put timestamps in the video for each map sections I do I am guessing and the actual location when I do find so this way this guy will be much much more easier so what I am going to do right now is teleport and skip ahead alright here's the first thing that's going to happen we're going to be uh, going to a town that has no um, sync points unfortunately so this is a little bit of a long walk so what I am going to do is speed up time until I get close to that uh, said town now all you need to do is just uh, quickly follow the direction I'm going on. I uh, marked it on the map I, like I said before but still this is not a bad uh, quest chain to do. It's actually real fun today. I mean I had a blast doing it. There are some good laugh out moments in this uh, quest chain today. I'm not spoiling what will uh, go down but still I'll point them out afterwards. Now there's one point in the quest that something will happen. Do not panic. I'll point that out. You will still get the trophy slash achievement one really really bad day yeah you'll definitely get that so first thing you need to do is go over here unfortunately there is no uh, ship docks either so keep that in mind I'm going to be showing everybody uh, why there's no uh, ship docks but still this is really easy all you need to do is in this uh, seaside town just go up here follow the direction I am there's a lone island over there or a lone area you should go to we're going to speak with our uh, contact there. This will uh, start the uh, quest chain. So beforehand, let me make sure I reach over there. And I'll show everybody where it's at one more uh, time. So you go on the map right here. Just remember the pile of wood that you can light on fire most likely. And it's right there in the White Crystal Hills. I'd probably say more of the center north, maybe a little bit of the northwest variant. I'll be back afterwards. What is it? So Merck, calling himself the Eagle Bearer, came to Alpolos, offering to help out. Nice kid, and I've heard his name before. I thought to myself, make at least that track me well spent. I don't know who's been using my name, but you're going to tell me everything you know. What is there to tell? He came in, had some little bird with him. You know how legends go. One day he gets a bird, next he's called the Child of Zeus. She, and I do have an eagle. I see that now, don't I? But I paid this other eagle bearer a small fortune to get the villagers ready for a pirate invasion. By the look on your face, I'm guessing that didn't work out. It didn't. Then I sent him to bargain peace, but he botched that too. The pirates are coming, and we don't stand a chance. Next time, hire the real eagle bearer. But I'm listening. Does the village of Alponos have a militia? Not enough. But if you get out there and stop the pirates before they land, I'll give you all that's left in the treasury. I'll stop the pirates from reaching your shore. Then you're going to help me find this eagle bearer imposter. I'll help you kill him myself. Where are the pirates sailing from? We saw the pirate fleet forming north of here. How big is their fleet? Just two ships, but they may have hundreds aboard. They make it to us. We're dead. I'm going to find the one using my name. When did you last see him? He came in with the last merchant ships, but I haven't seen him in days. He won't be easy to find, but if you seek the pirates, I'll track him down. Time to show the pirates what the real Eagle Bearer can do. All right, we have got started with Riding a Wrong. That's your very first um, official quest in the one really, really bad day. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to see why it's called that title, but still, there's your two targets right there. There are two ships. There are pirate ships we are going to sink. So we're going to be doing that. So what I'm going to do is uh, get to the docks and skip ahead. 
All right, so we went northeast. That was the only docks that was the closest by since the, our uh, quest area has no docks, no sink points, nothing of the sort. They do not even have a merchant there, so guess what? It's a very small town, so small. They don't have the important essentials. Still, get on the docks there so you get your ship. And we'll go after the two pirates. Yep, we're going to go sink some pirate ships. Uh, ignore the leader house. Yeah, ignore that. So, get on your ship. This part's real easy right here. So, we're going to call the Andraste. And there you have it. And we should do right now is just uh, keep on going and go after the ships. So, now time has changed. And there look like there are two ships still there. So, we're going to go over there right now and sink them both. This shouldn't be too hard right here, so we're going to pilot our ship, and we're going to get going on that. Alright, there are two ships. Let me tell you what happened in this video coming up. Uh, uh, both ships actually got sunk on the way there. <laughs> yep, see, one ship is gone. What happened was there was a bunch of Spartan ships guarding the area. So, the game's AI Spartans attacked the pirates. Same thing with Athenian. Ships attack the pirates. Yes, everybody attacks the pirates in this one. So, if this happens to you, the steps will count towards you. See? Both ships have been destroyed. And all we had to do was just uh, get on our ships and sail there. That was it. Now, if you had to do some sea uh, combat, then I would suggest watching my epic ship event videos. I'll, tell you, I'll show you how to do it right. So, now we're going to collect our reward. We're also going to park our ship over here. Just in case we do need to do any more uh, sea travel. You may never know, so we're going to get back to that lone area that looks like an island or a whole bunch of rocks with a fire pirate there that has yet to be lit. So this one was real easy. So if you get what I uh, got on ship uh, steps, you're doing fine. So what we're going to do right now is stop the ship and get off, and then we're going to turn this uh, quest in. So far, so good for one quest called One Really, Really Bad Day. Nothing went wrong. In fact, we uh, sank the ships without even doing anything. I got lucky. You folks might not get lucky. Or you might get lucky. It depends. So we're going to talk to our quest giver and see what's going on. The pirates are Poseidon's problem now. What have you done? Didn't you hear me screaming? You sunk our reinforcements. You didn't say anything about reinforcements. You said pirates. Oh. I sent a message to the supply ships to disguise their sails. Look like a pirate and sail in unseen. Those ships had supplies and troops. If I'd known they were reinforcements, I wouldn't have attacked. I need to set this right. There's still time. If we can get these villagers ready for battle, they can fight off the pirates themselves. I'll do it. I don't see an armory, though. Where is the smith? He hasn't worked since the last eagle bearer was here. I'll get him making swords. Can the villagers ride? For salt workers, they're not bad. And there's a horse breeder in town. I'll talk to them. Though we can't just arm them and tell them to fight. There's only one man who can rally the people. Claims to be a reborn Ajax the Lesser. Find him and get him back. So, where's the blacksmith? The forge caught fire. The smith's in the village, but you'll need to help him rebuild before he can work again. Tell me more about the horse breeder. She knows horses better than Poseidon. Get her to put a mare under each of these villagers, and we'll have a chance. If dead heroes are anything like me, they don't like being impersonated. Are you sure this Ajax guy is a good idea? Let the dead judge us all they want. We need to shake the fear out of these villagers. The last time I saw Ajax, he was headed to the hills southwest of here, on the northern border of Fokis. Tell me what you know about the one using my name. He came in with a vicious little bird. Called it Icarus, something like that. Anyway, said he'd help, then made things worse at every turn. So far, you two have a lot in common. The villagers will be warriors when I'm done. Oh no! We got blamed for sinking the uh, 
pirate ships were really Spartan ships with troops. I mean, come on. They met the AI Spartan ships. It was technically their fault, but still, oh well. We have given, been given three quests now. There are multiple quests, so we got a horse, of course, Ajax on fire, and the blind blacksmith. We're going to do the blind blacksmith first since it's close by. So this part's very easy, so I should just do the blind blacksmith first since he's the closest to the main quest giver. Then do the horse, of course, and do Ajax on fire last. So we're going to help this blind blacksmith and find out why is he blind. Still, this is the location, the actual location right there. Should be very easy to find. I'll be back after the cutscene. Are you the blacksmith? I was. Then another Mystios, an eagle something, came to help. Kind young man. It's eagle bearer? And there's only one. Me. Ah, the one who sunk the reinforcements. Gossip travels fast. Let's talk about uh, the other Mystios. Eagle something. The poor boy lit my forge, but somehow caused the fire to erupt. Flames everywhere. I can barely see now, or move my hands. But you're the only smith in town, and pirates are coming. We need you to start making weapons. No need to worry. Old Kalipidis has a few good blades left in him. I just need some space to work. Those stone blocks would make a fine table. Could you move them for me? Sounds easy enough. Alright, this is very simple. All you need to do is stack up the uh, blocks near the steps where the area is. Yeah, don't try to stack it on the uh, wood part right here. Yeah, it will not uh, count. Instead, just keep on stacking, I think, by the steps. I would just do it just to be more cautious. And it will actually mark it for you every time you do it correctly. See, there's one right there, and there's another one that's going to get marked. This is a very simple step. Put the uh, blocks where I am putting it. And you should advance to uh, the next quest step really quick. I do mean really quick. So what I'm going to do is stack the final one here and uh, there will be a cutscene ahead. Excellent work. Well, what next? I suppose we can't make weapons without iron now, can we? I have more than enough to share. Have some of mine. Well... This is certainly better than when that other Mystios came to help. All a good smith needs now are his tools. Your tools? Really? The Eagle something said they were stolen by a small group of bad eggs. They rode west of here, but I'm not sure where. I'll get them. Then you'll be ready to work? Of course. You've been so kind to this old smith. I thought I'd never work again. But your generosity has changed all that. Alright, so now we need to go into, look like, a bandit camp. Right there, exactly. Very easy to find. It's a short distance, a hop, skip, and a jump. Unfortunately, like I said before on the way back, there is no um, sync points to go back to and make this real quick. Yeah, for a seaside town that's to be attacked by pirates... Yeah, the pirates are going to be disappointed if they succeed. They have no shops, no sink points, no real docks. Yeah, nothing. Nada. Not even a thing. So we're going to go over there right now to the salt pirates camp. Yeah, we're going to kill some salty pirates. This is very easy. Now, at one point, I had trouble with the horse. And it looked like the horse is about to win the race. Yeah, horses could swim very well, so... Just go where I marked it on the map. It's very easy to find. And yeah, see, because I marked it on the map, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to also mark the actual uh, target's location. So this way, it'll be easy to kill him. If you just want to kill him, but if you want to clear out the entire fort, or I should say outpost or camp, go ahead and do it. So this way you'll uh, get the uh, item safely from the uh, bandits after you kill the one target. So what I'm going to do right now is set up myself for a kill range. Yeah, I'm going to go do some uh, long shots. Maybe go down there and finish them off. Now here is the map again right there. This is the actual location right there is the uh, camp. 
So I'll be back after the action. Alright, that was not bad. I went in there and shot off some foes, and I went down there to kill some more foes. This was very easy. So I am going to probably avoid the water this time. Yeah, last time, yeah, the horse swam. This was a very easy step. Go to the blind blacksmith, and you should probably most likely finish the uh, quest, and we'll be able to have the weapons made. So far, so good. Nothing really uh, bad happened to us, except for that one mishap with the Spartan ships. And the pirates who are really Spartans in disguise smuggling supplies and food. So I'll be back. Another Listimus? I've got your tools right here. Ah, what a day. You should be proud. You've given this old man purpose again. Now, if you could just set those aside for a moment, I'll get started. Oh, oh. Ah! Calipides? By the gods, I've seen a lot in my life, but that was brutal. <laughs> oh no! We just lost the blacksmith. And I hate to say it. He, the blacksmith said, "Put it by the steps," and then Cassandra was the indirect cause, or Alexios depends. So now we're gonna do a horse, of course. That's gonna be our second quest in the multi uh, quest chain. So far, we are batting a thousand in uh, getting these uh, quests done correctly. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to get used to us in this uh, Lost Tale of Greece. Uh, one really, really bad day. This is going to be a pattern. I'll be back after. If it isn't the new Eagle Bearer. Trust me, I'm a lot better than the last one. Look, you want to be useful, new Eagle Bearer? Get back the stallion, the other one of you lost to the pirates. I can get your stallion back, but we're going to need a lot more than one horse. What for? The pirates are coming, and at least with mounts, the villagers have a fighting chance. Sure enough, but I bred this one just for Megacles himself. Without his stallion, he isn't riding into battle. You ever seen a general strutting into battle? Not a good one. Exactly. Where did the stallion go? That other eagle bearer rode him east past the salts. Came back and said some bandits stole him in the night. Imagine that. I need to find this other eagle bearer. Wouldn't mind giving him a piece of my mind too. If you find him, punch his bird right in the beak for me. His eagle? Ha! It was barely a chicken. 
I'll get back Megaclis' stallion. Then you and I are going to talk about getting horses for everyone in Alponos. Alright, so now we have to go uh, track down the uh, horse. I think it's this time the eastern section of the uh, town. It's right there. This is the. Uh, I'm going to pinpoint that location for now. So I marked it on the map, so we're going to get going on that. So what I am going to do is uh, get us there, but still, this is our objective. I advise clearing out the camp completely, then afterwards, uh, go uh, get the horse. And it's a simple escort back to uh, the quest lady. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Yeah, it should not be that hard at all. I mean, just two bad luck things. It's just random things that happen. And also, the civilian will talk about the uh, Missio sinking a pirate ship. Yeah, guess what? Gossip does spread around town real quick. And it's not good so far. This is a good uh, quest chain. I mean, I'm having a blast with it. And I'm going to love it. So this is very easy to do. Just keep on following directions. I'm going... It's a bunch of mountains to climb, but so what? We're going to go over here, and it should be right about, let's see here. It takes Icarus for a while for him to track it. There you go. We have track it, so when we use Cassandra, or if you're playing as Lexios, get to the uh, fortress. Like I said before, I advise uh, clearing it out. Because if you don't clear it out, yeah, you're going to have a hard time getting that horse out. So what I am going to do is... Uh, get close to a kill range and I'm gonna set up a, a rush assassination attack run now once I do set this up I'll uh, be back after the uh, carnage it'll be trouble if I'm spotted here All right, first of all, you got a quest failed. It was scripted to happen. The horse saw you and the horse died. Do not worry. That just means uh, what happened was is uh, the bad luck continues. So I am going to skip ahead to the next part of the uh, quest. We're going to do Ajax on fire. Now I teleported myself to a close location to the Temple of Apollo. There is the fortress right there, Solitude Tower, I should say. North of that, that's the pinpoint location I marked on the map. So we find Ajax the Lesser. So, I said before, that horse quest fails, do not worry. It's scripted, so I'll put that in the timestamp after the fail point, so this way nobody panic. I got the trophy out of it, so either way will work. Same thing in the uh, Steam Achievement. Or the Xbox uh, One achievement. So I'm going to mark it right there and find this Ajax the Lesser. We're going to have a nice talk with them. So it's right there on the map real quick. I'll uh, be back after I uh, get to uh, Ajax the uh, Lesser. So here we uh, go. An adorer. You simply must tell me what do you think of the helmet? I just got it. I think it's all right. I knew it. It's ancient, but it's like it was made for me. Whatever you say. You're the one who the villagers worship? I don't know about worship, 
But they too call me Ajax. Then I'm bringing you back to Alponos. Pirates are coming, and I need someone to inspire the villagers to fight. Didn't you hear? Our ships were sunk by some crazed mystios. Now bandits are banditing anyone going in or out of the village, and there's no one to stop them. I'm the Eagle Bearer. Smart bandits know to stay away from me. Now let's go. You don't look anything like the other Eagle Bearer. Are you two a team or something? There is no other Eagle Bearer. He's an imposter. Like you. If I'm an imposter, what am I doing with Ajax's, I mean, my helmet? That's Ajax's helmet? But of course, it gives the wearer immortality. I paid the other Eagle Bearer a fortune to find its whereabouts for me. Then I set off to retrieve it as any hero would. I was on my way back when... There is no other Eagle Bearer! Get that through your thick helmet! So, now we have to do Ajax, the lesser escort. I mean, this is real simple. All you need to do is uh, escort Ajax to Aponios. Uh, I'm going to call it the town that doesn't have a dock, that doesn't have a sink point, and does not have a merchant. Uh, that town that the pirates should have skipped. However, they just want to kill people. That's probably the reason why they're doing it. Now, we're doing a simple uh, escort quest right here. I'm going to be honest with you, there is only one ambush point. I'll uh, point that out in the video, so... After hearing Ajax talking about himself being immortal thanks to the, uh... What well, looks like a crappy helmet. Yeah, we're gonna need to escort him. Now, it's not bad at all what's gonna happen with this ambush. I mean, this is gonna be very easy. You're not facing Spartans or Athenians or anything like that. Nope. So, we're gonna escort this loser to the town and uh, he should rally the troops. It should be really easy though, I mean, it should be real simple. So, all I'm gonna do is keep on going. Now, up ahead, this will be the only ambush point. I'll be back afterwards. Now, there you are right here. We have found the town almost. So, I'm going to tell you what's going to go uh, down. Now, during a conversation, you're going to be given a choice. Irish choices won't matter, but still, it depends on what choice you all want to do. This is your own uh, odyssey. Like uh, the game said, you make your own odyssey. Well, guess what? You're going to be making your own odyssey on the Lost Tale of Greece one really, really bad day. This might not be a good odyssey, folks, but still, you're going to be making a choice. You're going to be seeing that pop up. It depends on how you feel in this choice. So, we're going to finish escorting Ajax, the lesser, to uh, his uh, destination so he can rally the troops. Depends on how well we rally the troops. We'll see what's going on, though. And there's the people right there he's going to rally. Now, once he gets to that destination, I'll be back afterwards. People of Alponos, rise from your salt mills, descend from the white crystal hills. Locris is under attack. <laughs> the great Ajax has returned, now with the true child of Zeus, Faria Legal Barrer. You are not Ajax, and that mystio squeezed poor old Calepidis to bits. Nonsense! I am Ajax Reborn, and we will now prove to you I am immortal! Enough! Prepare yourself, Locrians. You must choose to stand and fight, or let the pirates invade and destroy your homes. This'll be easier than I thought. Now, light me on fire. What? It's okay. This is a magical helmet. The other eagle barrier told me it will protect me. You light the fire, the people will see I'm immortal, and then they will eat out of our hands. I am not lighting you on fire. That old helmet isn't magical. 
And you're not Ajax. How dare you? The last eagle bearer humiliated me in front of everyone, and now you're too. No more. I will not be humiliated. <laughs> Well, you were given two choices, him setting himself on fire or you set him on fire. Well, I set him on fire. However, there's a helmet that you will get too. It's bad. It's not that great. So now we have completed all three multiple quests and we're on the uh, quest, A Town in Need, Indeed. <laughs> yeah, the way things are going, folks, it's not going good at all. <laughs> Let's give a quick review. We accidentally or indirectly killed the blind blacksmith. We directly killed the horse by we stared at it. And uh, we had to kill Ajax the lesser or he killed himself. So what we're going to do is talk to the Spartan general right here and see if we could uh, get the town defended well next. You're back just in time. I heard my stallion was killed, and Nikia ran off in a fit to join the pirates. That true? I don't know where Nikia went, but your horse is definitely dead. How? Princess Purple Pie was the best horse in Alpinos. All right, I don't need a horse if I have a good weapon. How many has Calipides made? Calipides had an accident. What kind of accident? The really bad kind. He didn't see some stone blocks. He walked right into them and... Enough! Without weapons, we're doomed. We haven't even talked about Ajax yet. Did you find him? Ajax had this uh, helmet that he thought would make him immortal. And? It didn't. Ah, Malaka. Tell me about it. I would ask literally anyone else. But what choice do I have? I need everyone with a blade fighting with me. You can at least fight, can't you? Let's go. Not a lot of people would have been honest with me the way you were. I respect that. I just hope there's still a chance we can make this right. I will do everything I can to save these people. Alright, so now we have gotten the uh, multiple quest chain holders uh, quest done. That's finished, so now the next part is we're going to be attacking uh, pirates after pirates. Yeah, we're actually going to be the ones defending the town this time instead of the imposter. Yeah, I forgot to mention about the imposter. I decided to let uh, you all uh, figure that out by watching the video here. Now, after uh, we uh, kill off the pirates in waves, of any waves, there will be a choice made. It's up to y'all on what the choice is, so I'll be back after the uh, combat. They still need us to fight with them. Go! As did you. Forget what happened before. 
We're alive because of you. Don't need to thank me, Megaclis. I'm just glad the people of Alponos are safe. You may not want thanks, but you deserve it. I promised everything in the treasury, and that's what you're getting. Now I need to find my impersonator. I can help. I found this note on the pirate leader. They owe him a lot of drachmi. He was hired to sabotage the town. Making invasion easier. Their plan would have worked if the real eagle bearer hadn't shown up. What will you do when you find him? I'll think of something. Now we're on the final part of the quest after uh, Here Be Pirates is finished. So far, we're having a bad day today in Sass Creek Odyssey. However, there's a quest called There Can Only Be One. Yeah, that's a Highlander title. But still, we're going to go to the imposter and talk to the other Eagle Bearer. Now, that's already marked on the map. It's uh, close by the uh, eastern uh, pirate uh, camp we uh, visit previously, or bandit camp. So this one's very simple. We're going to go over here, just the same direction you did when you do a horse, of course. Before you kill the horse to death. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious, and I was shocked. I was like going, good thing I made a backup save. And yes, do make a backup save, please. Because you may never know. So this is very simple. We're going to climb this mountain here afterwards. We're going to... Uh, find this guy and I'll tell you what's going to go down next. Again, you'll be making another choice. It's up to you all on what the choice is. There's the guy right there and he is a mercenary. So we're going to get a look at the Eagle Bearer. And let's see here. Alright. It's loading. Yeah, it will take a while. So after I am done loading the Eagle Bearer and we're going to speak with him and make the choice, I'll be back immediately afterwards. The actual Eagle Bearer. <laughs> that explains why the invasion failed. Despite everything you tried to do, Alponos is safe. And I cleaned up the mess you made. What a glorious mess it was. When the pirates paid me to soften the town's defenses, I didn't think it would be so easy. People are dead because of you. I didn't kill anyone. But you did. We make a great team that way. I steal some tools or blow up an old man's forge. Send some young idiot into bandit-infested mountains. Lose a general's steed. Then watch you turn it into pure chaos. The fact that Megaclis and the pirates both paid you is just a bonus. Everyone pays to hear lies. They want to believe. Time for justice. May her wrath rain down on both of us. <laughs> she got us! Well, him and his chicken had to die. And you got the copycat sword, and immediately upon killing him, you should gain one really, really bad day trophy or one really, really bad day achievement. And I'm looking at the mercenary tier right now. We have not advanced a rank due to the fact he is the lowest tier, tier 5. Now, if you're under my level, he might be a tier 9, so uh, keep that in mind. And there's the dead eagle bear with his dead chicken. Yes, you had to fight him and a chicken. It was kind of funny. That was kind of funny overall, this uh, Lost Tale of Greece. And there's the copycat sword, 18 warrior damage, 20% crit on Spartan. That's actually a good sword if you're uh, more in keen of killing Spartans off. And that should do it for the Lost Tale of Greece, one really, really bad day uh, 
trophy or achievement guide. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.